Nike is in Vaporfly 4% features everything that the elites have as shown on Nike's Breaking 2 project, they're just not custom made. You can still get those, there's only a few that can be bought on eBay for $2,500. These shoes were worn by the 2017 Boston Marathon men's and women's winners and Jordan Hesse and Galen Rupp wore them during the marathon too. Today we're going to be reviewing my Nike Vaporfly 4% on the track. But to start off with a two mile warm up, I am going to be wearing my Adidas Adioses that I actually won at a race while I won a gift card and I ended up getting these because they told me that they were the shoes that set the marathon world record and I needed marathoning racing shoes. They did not work out for me. In fact, it hit the toe box of my left big toe. So it'll be interesting to see the contrast and I'll let you know how that goes. The minute I stepped into these, I noticed that they're a lot like my hokas in the cushioning, but a lot lighter with the state-of-the-art technology. As you can see, the uppers are really lightweight and have great ventilation, and the laces fit really well too. The cushion of the shoe is a Zoom X foam. Runner's World tested it and it showed that it delivers 80% energy return in the heel and 77% in the forefoot, which is the highest ever reported for a shoe and I could definitely feel it. I really felt like I was running on marshmallows, which will keep your legs fresh, especially during races, which is why I think it's more of a marathon shoe, not so much a racing flat type, like the Nike Zoom Street 6s. I wore these during the Boston Marathon this year, and I could probably do another review on this shoe as well. The midsole also has a 100% carbon plate, which makes it stiff and doesn't bend, um, so it helps really propel you forward. I didn't break these shoes in before testing this out on the track, and I would highly recommend saving these shoes for only races because apparently they only last for 200 miles. It's been said that you can use shoe glue to coat the bottom of your shoes and make them last longer. Overall, I highly recommend these shoes if you're a serious runner looking to improve your time, although they may cost a pretty penny. It may be worth it. It's $250 retail price right now, but it's pretty hard to find. Thanks for following me and please subscribe. I hope to do some more shoe reviews.